I am here for the Sydney Cabaret Festival and I have with me someone that's just dropped in from New York. Natalie Joy Johnson. Natalie Joy Johnson, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you? Thank um, you so much for having me. Yeah, it's really great to see you. When did you fly in? Uh, we got, well, we flew from New York on Monday, which and we landed on Wednesday, which kind of meant that Tuesday never happened. Yes. So I'm still trying to, like, make sure that I'm awake. <laughs> I woke up yesterday at 5, but today at 7, so that's, that's a better, uh, you know, step in the right direction. <laughs> but, yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah, I love your outfit. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Oh, yeah, sure. I got this um, on actually in Amsterdam on vacation. I have performed with Atlantis, which is like a big gay cruise line. And um, I've performed with them a bunch, which is actually how I met Trevor Ashley, who is the, you know, gala, you know, host and, uh, you know, the founding founding guy this year. And um, Trevor and I met doing a bunch of cruises. Anyway, this was an Amsterdam to Barcelona cruise and we went to Amsterdam after um, just to spend more time there and I am a sucker for sequins and when (laughs) you are when you have um, you know when you're in this business you're always looking for some you're I mean normally I'm wearing like jeans and a t-shirt and like sneakers but there is a whole closet that is just dedicated to like all the crazy sequined outfits and this was just something when I was in one of the stores because my eye is always just no matter where I am H&M where are the sequins where are they I just need to see I just need to see what okay okay Zara what which ones do you have now okay always and always like New Year's and Christmas afterwards that's the best time to go shopping yeah because all of those New Year's and Christmas sequins outfits are like 50% off so for all you budding cabaret artists out there who want to have sequined looks that's a really good time to go shopping maybe utilize some of your gift cards from the holiday um so anyway yeah I got this in a random little store in Amsterdam and I loved it and then of course because this is how it happens and I think it was like a hundred dollars which really was like 150 in US or whatever and then of course now years later I like just will sometimes look on Amazon like sequin dresses (laughs) And you know I saw this on Amazon for like forty dollars. So I was like, oh, well, they have it in black and red, so maybe I'll just get that one yeah. next. Well, the reason I said because I was downstairs, all of you were in front of the media wall, uh-huh. and you just shone. There is something about sequence that brings that festivity to a performance, isn't it? Oh my God! Well, yeah, that just takes everything to kind of a more heightened, over the top. Uh, you know, place. And if you look in the picture, both Trevor and I are wearing sequins because <laughs> we like to live in big, over-the-top places. You know what I mean? It just uh, it all is uh, <laughs> you can sit for good or for better or for worse. It's all very a natural part of who I am. <laughs> but life really is a cabaret. I mean, yes. yes. Yeah, just ask Countess Luann de la Seps in uh, Real Housewives of New York City. <laughs> <laughs> So for Australian audiences who may not know anything about your act, what can you tell them about what you're going to be doing here at the festival? Um, well, just a little bit about me. Yeah, I, I, uh, just, I just finished uh, the run of Kinky Boots, the musical, on Broadway, and I did that show for five and a half years, which was amazing. And, I mean, that's a really long time. That's a really long time to do one play. Um, and then before that, I did Legally Blonde, but kind of... For years, I mean, even before I did that, I, I've been doing cabaret. I think it really started like when I was 12 years old and my dad asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I said a karaoke machine. <laughs> and I literally from then on spent like all of my time and weekends and just hours into the night where like my family would yell downstairs like shut up go to bed you know and I just be like standing behind a microphone stand and just like living my dreams in the basement. Um, <laughs> And so, so what to expect? Well, it's not that 12 year old girl anymore because, yeah, mine is definitely not for a younger audience. That's what I would say. Mine is more for an adult crowd. Um, I definitely, uh, you know, the, the Natalie Joy Johnson cabaret persona is like, again, over the top in sequins and like, I'm wearing a wig, like my real hair is like really short and like, it's all like a whole thing, but it is absolutely born out of like who I am and like my kind of craziness. So, you know, it's belty, it's sexy, it's slutty, and it's a little bit drunk. So that's, that's, <laughs> it's irreverent. <laughs> We're going to have a great time. I'm going to make you laugh. 
we're going to have one where I'm probably going to like punch you in the stomach a little bit. We're all going to cry. <laughs> then we'll have another song and then we'll like the party. That's it. <laughs> um, also, if they want to, if you guys want to check it out, um, which actually is probably the most on brand Natalie Joy Johnson thing that's ever been created. Um, we uh, just put out a new single on iTunes and Spotify and wherever you want to listen to music, Amazon Music, all of the places. Napster, apparently Napster is still a it's thing. Back. Yeah, when Brian was like doing all of the technology stuff, which yes. I'm like, I can't do that. You take care of the A V stuff. I'll yeah. do all of the other producing crap, but you do that. And so um, he was like, Yeah girl, I paid the extra three bucks, so now we're on everything, including Napster. I was like, <laughs> I can't even believe that that is still a thing. But anyway, it's called Get Into It Queen. And it's by Miss Natalie is the artist. And we also have a music video. So if you just type, yeah, yeah. if you just type in Get Into a Queen Miss Natalie on YouTube, it'll I've pop it. up. Oh, it. oh my God, that's yes. me. Yes, that's, that's me. Yes, that's great. totally. So that's what I do. I oh, mean, that wow. is nothing is more NJJ on brand than that music video, um, which is a big gay dance disco jam, is, yeah. which is like such a big, you know, fun gay um, anthem that we wanted it to be like very we wanted it to be funny we wanted it to be empowering and we wanted it to be catchy af so yes. i feel like we succeeded on that and it, uh, just, it just came out didn't it like within five months yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we just dropped it like uh i want to say like the second week of june yeah it was second week yeah. Of june. yeah so yeah that's me <laughs> that's amazing oh wow that's such a really good video thank you thank you it was really really fun to do it was crazy because like i've never done anything like that you know i've done plenty of cabarets where you have to learn like eight thousand songs but you're in like one look maybe two looks it's a little you don't have to worry about like a million props and locations like yeah. you know where you're gonna be and there's a band and you put on the sequence and that's what's happening but for that it was doing like one song but full like eight fully realized like setups that are like location props hair costumes how are we getting there mm. da, da, da. and like we did it in Coney Island and at a Dairy Queen in New Jersey and we drove to the Poconos like we kind of went like full tilt boogie wow. all out <laughs> but it was amazing. really fun it was really really fun so, so. you've been in Kinker Boots and then you were playing Enid in uh, Legally Blonde yeah that was my Broadway debut so I'm on the original cast album of that as uh, Enid Hoops I did that piece score overseas and then bah, 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 bah. yeah and then I went on tour and um, played Paulette for like two years on tour in the US which was awesome because it was you know uh, two totally different characters so really fun we're at Soundcheck, as I'm sure you can hear it right now, and I think it's Allison, who is such a queen. I can't wait to see her show. I can't wait for the gala tonight, because you mm. get to see a little bit of what everybody's doing, Yes. and I'm excited to, to check it out. Oh, it's I'm excited awesome. as well. So let me think that. It's from the basement to Broadway, and now Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and beyond. <laughs> International. <laughs> It's super exciting. Is this your first time in Australia? It is. It is. It is. So I could not be happier to like be here and for this to be the reason why. It's yeah. it's so exciting. When Trevor told me he was doing this and was like, I'm bringing you here. I've just, I've been dreaming about it for like a year. Wow. And here we are. Yes. <laughs> so the people that don't know anything about cabaret, how is that different to musical theatre? Well, musical theatre is like, it's a whole show. It's a play. It's like a story that, you know, is beginning to end. And it's, a, you know, it's written, you know, by a certain composer or whatever, one composer that, that has this whole vision. And it's a whole play happening in real time. I mean, cabaret is like, and I love musical theatre. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Like, you sing you know, act, dancing, not really my thing, but it's fine. You know, you got to do it. It's fine. Um, apparently I was like, I had to do the tango in kinky boots. And when I booked that, I was like, oh no, how am I going to do this? <laughs> and it's just because it's hard for me to learn. Once I get it, I can sell it. But, um, but you know, in cabaret, you don't have to dance. <laughs> Nobody's telling you you have to dance or that you have to do anything. And that's what I love. And that's actually why it's my favorite of like all of the stuff. I've done some TV, I've done, you know, obviously musical theater, but cabaret is my personal favorite because literally I've been doing it since I was 12 in the basement. It literally is just, you get, I, and because I work with Brian Nash, who is my musical director, who is also doing his own shows while you're, while he's here. So please make sure that you check those 
shows out because he is doing not only he's MDing, MDing for me and Kim and Jennifer Holiday and like he's incredible on his own. Um, but because I get to work with him, he I can sing literally whatever song I want in whatever key I want. And I can say whatever I want because literally I'll be like, Brian, let's do this song, but let's do Straight Up by Paul Abdul. Like, I feel like really intensely we need to do that. And he was like, hmm. He wasn't feeling it at first. And he was like, hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on. He was like, beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 beep. And he like goes through this computer in his brain where I don't even know how it works. And he's like, okay, we can do Straight Up by Paul Abdul. But only if we do it like mine hair from Cabaret. I was like, so let's do it. So we have we have that. That's a that is a song that exists in the world. Um, so that is why Cabaret is rad and totally different from musical theater, because in the musical you're a cog in a machine of a story that's being told that is, you know, a vision from beginning to end. And Cabaret is a vision from beginning to end. But I, as the artist, get to weave that tapestry and pick what songs and stories that I want to share. And that's what's so fun. Wow. And just to remind the audiences, what nights will you be performing so they can come get a ticket? I am next weekend, so I'm the 11th and the 12th at 9.30 p.m. at the Seymour Center, and then the 13th at 6, also at the Seymour Center. So... Thank you so much for more of me (laughs) at the center. (laughs) Definitely see more. Exactly. Thank you so much for sitting down with us and have a wonderful time in Chookers, as we say in Australia. Thank you. I'm psyched. It's going to be great. Yay. (laughs) Thank you. Nice to be in orbit.